Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a relatively quick one. It's a way of working with curves to enable you to get to quite extreme curves, but with more control than you might otherwise. So, for example, uh, let's just start off here and put up some curves. And if I say I'm going to do an S-curve here, I put one kind of up here. I wanted to say an extreme one, and I bring this sort of down here. But what's happening now is, is even in moving this, I force that up there. This bottom one affects that very top segment, and you can end up with this flattened bit here. So this is all dark, this is all light. So you get burnout and blacks and so on. So what you do is you have two points. So if I put another point, say here, I can lift that up up here. So this section here is doesn't actually hit the bottom, and the next one here, if I get it right, there we go. This one provides a bit more control. Now at the other end I put in another one and you use those two points there to provide that control. So let's say for example I want to turn up the whites a little bit here and I want a, fair, a much deeper curve here. What you don't want is like this where it comes up and over and down because there's a section there where it's quite flat. So and if you go you get double dots sometimes just right click and that'll fix it. But usually you want to bring the dots closer together so this kind of distance here. So then this smooths down here and tails off neatly. And so I got a much darker point here, but then I can make controls there. If I want to bring that up, that means I'm going to have to pull this one up a little bit as well. But you're working with two dots at a time rather than the whole thing. And so then you could get things like this. This end here was initially very, very bright. If I turn this off, you can see it's bright at the end. And I've not lost the detail there is still detailed because I've not flattened that up against the top, even though the lights go pretty much all the way up. Similarly with blacks, there'll still be detail in the blacks. And with these two dots, I can get that level of control that gives me a smooth transition throughout. That's it. That is the double dot curve method. Thank you very much for watching.